Okay, so now uh, this video will show you how to create sort of quick uh, keyboard shortcuts for commands uh, inside your terminal. Uh, that can be really, really convenient. Uh, I'll give you a quick example of what I'm talking about. And the way you do this is you create what is called an alias. Okay, now I'll go into that in just one second, but let me just give you an example. You know, sometimes, you know, if let's say you want to log into your server and you go, okay, SSH root at and IP, my IP address, whatever the heck that is, you know, that's kind of a little bit, is there an easier way to do it? Well, I've created an alias, so I just type S, boom. And sure enough, you can see I'm logged in up at my server. Now, okay, so now, how do we do this? Um, the way we do it is first you need to go to your main user. Um, there's a file we need to modify, a hidden file. We, you need to go to your main um, user folder, and that is delineated by this. Um, uh, I guess they call that a tilde. Uh, I'm not sure. It's just a squiggly, whatever. Um, and if you're not there, you let's say I'm here. Okay, present working directory, directory. Okay, so I can't do it here. I need to get to my user directory. And you could do that by doing this. CD. All right, there we go. Now, this is, if I say LH, ls okay i don't see the file i need to modify there is a special hidden file inside your main user directory and okay the way we can see that file is we'll go ls and then dash lah boom and we can see it it's right here this right there dot bash research bash bash rc okay so we're going to modify it, nano, that extremely lightweight text editor. And we say dot bash rc. OK, now I've already got some aliases right in here. Um, now, one thing you need to be, when you do these aliases, type them in exactly the way uh, I do it. OK. Um, now you see you've got you just put in this alias and then whatever the command is s now you can screw it up if you put a space in between here don't do that just type let's say I do that I, I type it space and I go out Well, wait a minute. Okay, well. Oh, uh, did did did. Um, just a moment here. Um. Uh, well, I forgot. That. Okay, it doesn't matter. All right. So, in uh, quotation marks, and you need to you put your command, whatever it is, the command you want. Um. And so, and then you save it and you exit, and that's that's all you need to do. Um, and you're gonna one thing you do need to know you do need to know here is that after you make a change, you need to close out of your window, close this particular terminal session, and start another one. Okay and then start another one. Uh, okay, that should be it. Uh, because it will not be in memory for this. If, you, if I made a change right here and I tried to use that special shortcut key, um, it would not be available to me. Okay, it would not be available. I need to quit this particular terminal process and start a new one and then it'll be available to me.